Hey guys, I'm Shyam Bopair from Skull Studio. So in this video, we are going to model inside the mouth and the teeth of our stylist character. And in the next video, we'll start modeling his body. I'm working on a few short films as well. So one of them is based on the Star Wars universe. So stay tuned for that as well. So if you're new here, make sure you watch the part one, two, and three videos to catch up. You can download the reference images in the link below and if you like to buy the fully rigged model you can get it from skylarglobal.com link in the description for that as well and make sure you smash the bell notification button to get notified when i upload the next video of the series and i just started a discord server so you guys can join there share your progress and have some fun link in the description for that as well all right let's get on with the video so we're going to start by disabling the mirror modifier and i'm going to select this edge to and scale it down a bit and maybe right click and uh, smooth a bit as well and then S0 and scale this up and drag these vertices up and down like that like that and I'm gonna extrude this out again with E scale it up that extrude again and scale this down extrude again scale down rotate a bit extrude down and rotate maybe add a edge loop like that and scale up and now apply the mirror modifier again not don't apply just enable it and try to adjust inside push these to the side like that and move these away enable clipping and smooth So yeah, something like that, smooth these vertices. You can't really see inside the mouth, but it's good to know that you have something nice going on inside as well. So yeah, but sometimes when you open the mouth, like if it's a wide shot, it can look a bit weird. And now we're gonna create the teeth. So for that, I'm gonna hide uh, everything. Select everything with A and hide. Now I'm gonna add a circle, scale it down a bit, go to the top view, switch on my screencast keys and select that side and this side and delete all that and add a mirror modifier. Now I'm gonna scale it down in the X axis like that and move them close and extrude with E and place it over there like that move these inside like that looks good and select all this and extrude it out as well and delete the top faces okay and shade smooth and now I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier with control 2. Go to top view, tab in mode and select these two. Maybe rotate them a bit like that. And now what I'm going to do is add a cube, shift A, cube, scale it down like that. And uh, tab in mode, tab in mode and move this to a side and add a mirror modifier. Like that and now I'm gonna scale it down in the y-axis a bit and move it to the front now I'm going to hide the top gum and delete the top face in the cube and with control 2 add the subdivision surface modifier with control R I'm gonna add a edge loop in the middle and another one in the middle from the vertical angle as well and shade smooth select everything alt a a to select everything and uh, move 
closer a bit and I'm going to unhide the gum and move these cubes down a bit and move them with G by the middle a bit and scale it in the Y axis a bit as well and I'm going to add an edge loop to the gum and scale it, the, rotate it in the Z axis and close in the X axis a bit as well and uh, just I'm just gonna eyeball it the way I want and scale it in the Z axis scale it in the Y axis actually alright that's starting to look like teeth now if it's shift D I'm gonna duplicate rotate and scale down a bit like that move them close shift D duplicate again shift D duplicate again rotate and shift D duplicate again rotate and one more and starting to look good now I'm gonna select both of these and with shift D duplicate it and with S Z minus 1 I'm going to scale it down in the negative and get it down now I'm going to scale both of them down a bit and just place it like that with the bottom and move it up with G Z right and I might make the front tooth a bit smaller and bring this one a bit closer like that now I'm going to select uh, all of the objects and add it into a new collection with Control M and name it. I'm going to name it Teeth, and I'm going to unhide everything else. Now select the Teeth objects, go to wireframe mode, and switch on X-ray select mode, and scale the teeth up a bit, and apply all the mirror modifiers. And now with Control J, I can join everything. Oh, before joining the teeth, I'm gonna add the materials. So new material, add a white material to the teeth, make it a bit glossy, and I'm gonna call it teeth. And apply the same material to the top teeth as well. And now I'm gonna add material and call it gum. Now add it to the top. And the bottom and control J apply control J to join everything and now scale the teeth move it somewhere there and place it on the bottom like that move the tad bit back okay scale again now I'm gonna switch to rendered view just to see how this looks maybe play with the colors a bit uh, the color of the gum looks good and yeah so that's it for this video hope you all enjoyed it in the next video we'll be making his head and you can post your progress in the discord server so come back for the next video i promise i'll upload more frequently i also have a video on my character modeling process here you can check it out and you can click here to watch the next video so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button and the bell button and the button button all the buttons before you go and uh, see you in the next one. Bope out. Peace.